Hey everyone, Evan here from Photobax. Wanted to show you a quick technique using our Photobax Actions package with your photos as well as using them with our templates. This being one of the portrait templates from our signature package, picked up number 15 here. Uh, and you can see all the different ones here, how they start. I added it to my Photoshop workspace and then I just added my photo to it. But I really didn't like the way that the photo was working with the background. I did try to change the color of the background. It just wasn't really making the photo stand out or look as special as I wanted. So I thought, you know what, let's, instead of doing this sort of more traditional ways of adjusting a photo in Photoshop using, you know, hue and saturation and levels and curves and things like that, I thought, let's go to the Photobacks Actions package, let's run some actions on this photo, and then let's get some new ideas, add it to the template, and we can go from there. So if you're not familiar with actions, do check out our website at photobacks.com, click on products, and then look for our Photoshop Actions package. And basically, you're going to see many different ways to apply different effects to your photos. So actions are going to apply multiple steps of different adjustments to your photos in one click. And we've got some different special things here in our actions package. And it resides right here in Photoshop. You can see that the uh, panel just pops right out from the side here. If you don't see that, you can just go to Window and then Actions. And I'm just going to click on a few different actions here to see what results I get. Now the actions package is great because we have about 14 different photography styles here. And I can just open up any one of these folders, let's say cross process. And inside I've got five different effects, but I can click on run all cross process. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell Photoshop to basically give me a sample of each one of these actions in a different layer on my layer stack here in Photoshop. So I'm going to click run all cross process. I just press one button and then Photoshop basically builds out that layer stack for me. You can see how quick that was and applied all the different cross process effects right to my original photo. Now here's your original photo here. So we never lost that, but we do have all the other images here, the different effects that we applied. Here's cross process one, here's number two, three, four, and five. Now these are really strong on my photo and of course there's many ways that you can you can adjust the impact of these actions. So I could lower the opacity of one and just bring that down so it's not as strong on my photo but still allows me to get a great result. Like you can see there's the original, here's cross process 4, just reduced to about 41% opacity. But I'm looking at these, I don't really like the results here so you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and run another action on my original photo. Let's try our fading colors. I'm looking for something a little bit softer, a little bit more rustic. So I'm going to click on fading colors here, run all, press my play button there. Again, Photoshop just builds out in the layer stack the different effects onto each layer based on the different uh, selections I've made. Now all of my original selections are still here, right? So the cross process one through five are still there, but I've got now the fading colors that I can look at. And I really like the way number one looks. Number two, nice. Uh, it kind of gives you that Instagram look there on that one. Uh, fading colors three, not so bad, uh, maybe not perfect. Four is great as well. So I think between one and four, those are the ones I want to work with. And I think I like this sort of old fashioned look, a little bit more faded look of number one. So I'm going to use that. Very simply now, now that I have the action that I want to use, the effect applied to the photo, go back to window. I'm going to arrange these to two up here vertical so we can have both these on the screen at the same time. And I'll just go ahead and click on that purple photo mask layer again and I'll turn off the photo that's already inside the template. And here I can just drag in this layer right into the template. And I'm going to hold down shift as I do to center it. So I'm just going to click on this layer and hold down shift bring it right in and it goes right into the template and now you can see that it gives it a much different look than the original photo. Here's my original and then here's the new look with the action apply which I really like better. Let me close this out here or bring this back into the workspace. Arrange and consolidate all here and so you can see that real large. So you can see the difference here. Here's my original and then with a nice Photoshop action applied to it from Photobacks I have a beautiful result. Kind of takes off that extra uh, saturation that was on the photo but adds a little bit more brown to it in this case. Gives it a little more of a, a faded look. And now I can go back to my hue and saturation adjustment to the background and I can really adjust this to maybe match a little bit easier because of the way that the template is styled. So maybe get you know just a different result here. Uh, let's bring out down some of the saturation. Maybe even bring this up to something more in the green tone. Really make this work very nice. So lots of ways that you guys can play with this uh, and everything is customizable of course but the idea of the actions is to be able to apply quick photographic effects to your images and then bring them into your templates and have some beautiful results in seconds.
This is just one quick tip from Photobacks. We have many quick tips on our website in our Backstage area. If you're not a Backstage Pass holder, go to our website, click on Backstage and read all about it. We have many different video tutorials to enjoy in Backstage. Here are our quick tips here. And we also have hours of webinar recordings available to you if you're a Backstage Pass holder. Watch all of our high definition video tutorials here from our quick tips or webinars. And you can access them on any mobile device or PC or laptop. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip here from Photobacks. Definitely have fun with the templates. Change up the templates, match them to your photos. Get some really neat results with our Photoshop Actions package. And if you have any questions, let us know. And that's another quick tip here from Photobacks.